Hello and welcome to my first box break. I've been wanting to do videos like these for a while and uh, this is my first one. So bear with me as I, you know, start out on this adventure. I've been wanting to do something uh, ever since I got back into collecting. I'll do more of an intro at the end of this video, but let's just go straight into opening this up. Alright, so this is the first blaster box of Topps 2023 Series 1 that I've opened since, uh, oops, since I got back into this. I've gone through a couple of uh, hanger packs in a jumbo pack already, uh, and I'll kind of show some of the cooler cards I pulled out of those at the end of this, but for now let's get into this box. So, we have our seven packs. Start at the top, see what we got. All right, we got Shane Bieber. Nice card here. Kevin Gaussman. I love the action shots with these. I've been shooting sports for over a decade now and it's silly but one of the things I always love is having the like the longer hair and when it's flowing it really adds a lot of movement that you can see in the photos Sandy Alcantara reigning Cy Young winner let's see we got Bo Brisky I'm probably butchering that another uh, picture here I love the high leg kick in this shot Eduardo Escobar, another good photo. Let's see. We got big swing from Seth Brown here in this photo. We got a Buddy Kennedy rookie card. First rookie card that I've noticed so far. Uh, you know, good action shot on the move. Stephen Kwan. Ooh, I love this photo. I love how you can... You just have the ball just above the glove here as he's leaping up to make this catch. I love these kind of shots where you just have the ball just like a few inches above the glove. Oh, the, this, is a, this is a really cool card. I, I, I love this shot right here. Christopher Morell rookie card. One of the... Uh, what is this? So this 35 years. So this is the 1988... Uh, uh, parallel. It's it's a good design, you know, 1988 uh, tops. You know, it's all right, not my favorite, but it's, it's a good look. All right, then we got Stars of MLB, Mookie Betts. Nice card. The design's okay. Like, I'm not, like, a huge fan necessarily of, of this set, but, like, they're kind of cool looking. Ooh, this is a cool one. Teammates celebrate walk-off. I, I love, again, going back to the my photography experience, I absolutely love when, uh, and I just realized I'm kind of holding these way far back. I love these uh, celebration shots, a lot of movement, a lot of emotion in these photos. I love the, this kind of look. Now, I love seeing these pictures in uh, this set. All right, we got the ERA leaders. Urias, Alcantara, and Freed. Very nice. Caleb Smith. I, I also love these horizontal uh, photos. You get these really great looking shots like this. Oh, oh, I love this shot. Ryan McMahon. Kind of reminiscent of the play from... God, how long has it been, like... At least 15 years ago, Tadahito Aguchi, you know, being a White Sox fan, that's where I go to first. But just going parallel to the ground and making that throw, love that shot right there. All right, so that was pack one. Definitely got some cool stuff in there. All right, number two.
What do we got here? Another Christopher Morell rookie, this time the base card. Paul Blackburn. I gotta say, with the photos, pictures are always the most fun to try and get a shot of. You know, I especially love it when you can get the, the ball just right off their fingertips. Gabriel Moreno. Nice rookie card here for the Blue Jays. All right, back after a phone call interruption, like I left off, Noah Syndergaard, Phillies, back in the NL East after a stint with the Angels. Jack Suwinski with the Pirates. Let's see what we got here. We got Danny Jansen with the Blue Jays. Nice shot here of Kyle Farmer, Reds. Jonah Heim, another nice shot. Okay, so we got a home run challenge card here, Chris Bryant. Uh, let's see. So, get to choose the game date you think this player will hit a home run, and uh, if you choose correctly, you get a parallel card. That's kind of cool. I've only ever uh, managed to pick up these cards like well after the fact, well after uh, the fact, and they're no longer. Uh, eligible, but this is kind of cool. I'll get a chance to do this this season. Got another Stars of MLB, Pete Alonzo. Again, this series, or this uh, set doesn't really uh, speak to me all that much, but it is kind of cool looking. We got the ERA leaders, Verlander, Cease, and Manoa. I absolutely love this, uh, this Sox alternate jersey on one of my favorites right there. American League team card, Boston Red Sox. Very nice. Mark, oh yes. Oh, I love this photo. You got the ball right on the bat there. A nice horizontal shot. Oh, I, I love this. I love this uh, photo. Marcus Wilson rookie card. So this is definitely a cool one to have. Tanner Scott, nice shot. Looks like celebrating after uh, closing out a game. Because I believe he's... Yep, served as a closer for the Marlins last year. 20 saves. Nice. Alright, so that's pack number two. Sorry, I keep bumping the camera. Alright, on to number three. All right, Jermaine Palacios rookie card. Merrill Kelly with the Diamondbacks. All right, Fernando Tatis Jr. Going to be interested to see how he does this year. I have a uh, Bowman Chrome first card for him that I'm hoping I might be able to sell off the. Uh, at some point this year if he if he uh, returns to form after everything that went down last year. And speaking of selling, all of these cards that I'm showing off today, they are going to be available for trade or for sale. There might be a few that I would want to hold on to for myself, but for the most part, and if there's any of these that you see that you really want, I'd be more than willing to listen to, to uh, any offers for a sale or a trade. All right, got a Derek Hall rookie card. For the Phillies. Don't really know much about him. Looks like he's got some decent pop, so got 27 home runs with Lakewood in 2017. 20 with Reading in 2019. Uh, yeah, so got some decent pop. We'll be interested to see what happens with him. Frank Schwindel with the Cubs. The ageless Adam Wainwright. Wonder if this will be his uh, last year, but who knows? This guy's been uh, pretty, uh, pretty steady, pretty consistent for the most part, I'd say. Tristan Costas rookie card. I believe this is uh, one of the rookies that people are going to be wanting to keep an eye out on this year. Uh, you know, I'm not quite as uh, up to date on prospects and rookies as I used to be. But uh, I do know that I've heard his name mentioned quite a bit, so this could be a uh, rookie card that people are interested in this year. 
Franchi Cordero with the Red Sox. Very nice. Doing a lot of flip around. Okay, this is a cool one. This is my second one of these uh, uh, from this set. I love this graphic design work. You know, it's I've done some sports graphic design stuff as a hobby, but I, I really like the look of this. Welcome to the 3030 Club, Cedric Mullins. Really love this card. All right, got another Stars of MLB, Freddie Freeman. It's still weird seeing him in anything other than a Braves jersey, but... Uh, all right, that's a cool card. Going back to the horizontal shot, Danny Jimenez. Again, love the look of these horizontal photos. Always love those. All right, we got the NL average leaders, McNeil, Freeman, and Goldschmidt. Reigning MVP Goldschmidt. Oh, I okay, I love this. Reese Lightning. I, I love that... Uh, little title there. Hoskins provides jolt for Phillies. Let's see. Team checklist card, but yeah, I or not a team checklist. Just a checklist card, but I, I love the wordplay there, and I love this uh, celebration photo. Celebration photos are always great. And then last, we got Kenley Jansen. You know, another great reliever. This guy... Still is one of the top uh, closers out there. All right. Three packs down, four to go. All right. Getting to the halfway point on this box now. Again, going back to what I was saying before, I love... Long hair flowing in the pictures, you know, it really adds to that sense of movement in these photos. So that's kind of cool. Matt Strom, pitcher for the Red Sox. All right, we got Tommy Edmond with the Cardinals. Brett Beatty, I believe it sounds pronounced. Brett Batty, Brett Beatty, I'm not sure. Off the top of my head. Rookie card. I actually got to see this guy uh, play when he was down in the uh, Appalachian League, the... Uh, Love all the Myers that's since been cut, but uh, when he was with the Kingsport Mets down there. Um, so, yeah, this is another one of those guys that I believe is uh, everybody's keeping an eye on as a potential hot rookie this year. So that's cool to have this. Lucas Giolito, really hoping for my socks that he has a, he puts things back together and has a little bit better year this year. Brandon Lowe with the Rays, very nice. Hey, we got Paul Goldschmidt. Ooh, I kind of like this action shot. You got the ball frozen in midair right there. I am, I've said it before, I'm an absolute sucker for these photos with the ball just frozen right there in the shot. Gunnar Henderson, rookie. I think this is the first one of his that I've pulled this year. Another guy that I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be uh, interested in with uh, his rookie cards this year. Orioles could have a... Decent little team this year. It'll be fun to see how they do with some of these rookies. Dean Kramer. This is a guy that I actually uh, watched and spoke with a couple of times when uh, this was back in 2016 when he was in the Dodgers system with the Ogden Raptors. They were an advanced rookie team. I was the uh, I spent a summer as kind of like an internship kind of thing as the uh, beat writer for the local paper for the Ogden Raptors. So it's cool to see uh, some of these guys that I saw in the low levels of the minors getting their own baseball cards all the way up at uh, the major leagues. Okay, we got, oh, this is interesting. We got a Michael Harris rookie card, reigning rookie of the year. This is somebody that I'm sure a lot of people are going to be interested in. And it looks like it's some kind of a blue parallel. Let's see if there's anything on the back, really. Uh, nothing that I can tell specifically, but... Still, blue parallel rookie, you know. Again, I love this shot. Diving forward for that photo. Ball frozen in midair. This is a really cool rookie card. All right. Another stars of MLB. We got Jose Ramirez this time. This guy has been just absolutely consistent in the AL Central. Lots of power. Really cool card to get. Again, not a huge fan of this, but it's a cool card. Yusei Kikuchi, 
gotta love all that's going on in this horizontal photo. You can really see the strain that uh, goes through a pitcher's body when they're throwing a pitch. Nice shot there. Team card for the Diamondbacks. Nice. Decent photo there. I gotta remember to keep these this uh, centered more. All right, so uh, this is interesting. First off, I love this celebration shot for the walk-off. Love that shot. Second off, this is something that, uh, and I actually have a good example here that I can show. I saw this point out the other day, and it is kind of interesting. So you have Arizona Diamondbacks, and they have just the Angels. They don't, they're not listing the city name for the Angels. So that's really kind of interesting, and it seems like so far that's the only, uh, team that they're doing this for and i'm not really sure why i saw somebody point that this out online the other day and so i'm kind of curious as to what's going on with that but yeah nice shot love the water frozen in midair great shot and then we cap it off with nl wins leaders right arias and darvish three really good pitchers there and that was pack number four all right. Yep. Down to the final three. Pack number five. Let's see what we got. All right. Brendan Rogers. Looks like a military appreciation day, I'm assuming. Or, uh, like, no, it's not. That would be in the minor leagues. This would be like a Memorial Day cap, I'm assuming. Or, yeah, probably Memorial Day. Uh Nice shot there. Cesar Hernandez with the Nationals. Good action shot there. Chaz McCormick, Astros. Oh, I love this. Love this reaction shot. Those are always fun to get. Emmanuel Clase, Clase. I'm not 100% certain on the pronunciation. But uh, this guy has been lights out as a reliever for the Guardians. Julio Arias, nice. Nice action shot there. Oh, hey, Julio Rodriguez. This is the guy that everybody's been chasing. If you're watching this, you probably already know that. But uh, I like that shot, the helmet flying off. Got the Rookie Cup logo there, so that's cool to have that. Evan Lee, rookie card. Have not heard much about him, but uh, that's cool to get another rookie card there. Rysel Iglesias. It's weird seeing him not on the Angels, even though I know that he started out with Cincinnati, but i had grown accustomed to him being with the Angels, so seeing him in the Bra with the Braves there. All right, let's see. We got the 88 throwback, Sonny Gray with the Twins. Another stars of MLB, this one is Bryce Harper. Love that uh, photo of him. Nice uh, reaction shot there. Teoscar Hernandez, nice uh, horizontal photo there. Roni Garcia, another one I love, just like the length that you can see in this photo, the, the wide angle shot there. Oh, this is another great one. Nick Pavetta, love having the leg kick out there. Again, you know, these are just some things that I always enjoy getting a picture of when I've been uh, shooting sports. Then Raphael Devers, looks like some sort of a Looks like a bat flip, probably. But, uh, yeah, nice shot there. All right. All right, down to the final two packs. Let's see what we got here. All right, so I can already tell this is the pack with the commemorative patch card that was advertised on this blaster box i can tell it was all it felt a little bit thicker than the others so let's we'll see what we get there all right so we got marco gonzalez here seattle mariners keston hero with the brewers Ooh, nice you got the ball right there on the bat would have been nice if the ball was a little bit crisper looking but uh Still a cool shot right there. George Kirby, Future Stars. 
was hearing some buzz about him uh, late last season, so it will be cool to see how he goes from here. Garrett Cole. This guy has been, you know, absolutely dominant ever since he left Pittsburgh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, good card. Michael Chavez with the Pirates now. Let's see how he does this year. Another rookie card for the Dodgers, Michael Grove. Have not heard about him before, but we'll see how that goes. Ooh, this is cool. Mike Trout, and this is, I believe, I'm assuming this is the City Connect uh, jersey for the Angels. But I really like how that looks. That looks really sharp. So that's cool to have uh, his card with the City Connect jersey. All right, we got Alec Bohm with the Phillies. It's, ooh, this one's Topps Chrome. Oh, that's interesting. So I got another uh, Pete Alonzo Stars of MLB. This one is Topps Chrome. All right, that's interesting. Okay, here we go. Here's the commemorative patch card. Jose Ramirez, Cleveland Guardians. You know, I, I'm not a huge fan of these cards. And, I mean, Lord knows that there's plenty of other people who have complained about these manufactured relics and whatnot. Um, you know, obviously they're not going to have like any value really hardly, but it's still kind of cool looking, uh, looks like, uh, some sort of like little plastic insert. The logo is slightly raised here, but, uh, yeah, you know, it's like, it's not, it's not a bad looking card. It's just, uh, these manufactured relics or patch cards or whatever. They're just a little whatever, but it's still a cool look, a nice clean look. All right, looks like we got a Wander Franco, Stars of MLB. Very nice there. Joe Barlow with the Rangers. All righty. Got another... I, I like how all the team cards are really having, like, these, like, great, like, celebration shots here. Look, you can even see all... I'm assuming these are peanut shells or uh, bubble gum. Actually, that, that looks like bubble gum there that uh, is flying around the air, but... That's cool. I love these uh, celebration photos. Those are always the best. And look, you got another one for the Cardinals. Very nice. Gotta love this stuff. And then last we have the NL RBI leaders. Pete Alonso, Paul Goldschmidt, Francisco Lindor. Very nice. We'll be interesting to see how the Mets do this year after all that spending. And I mean, you had two of the top three... Uh, league leaders in RBIs last year. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, the Mets can make that next step this year and maybe bring home the World Series. All right, so that's pack number six, if I can ever get this up. And now we're down to the final one, number seven. Let's see what we got here. Right as the heater kicks in. All right, Ethan Small, Brewers card. I, lo I like this look for the jersey. Rookie card, so that's cool to have that one. Oh, I should know how to pronounce his last name. I think it's Christian Pachi. Christian Pachi. I'm butchering this name. I know it, absolutely. But uh, good reaction shot here. Travis Swaggerty with the Pirates, rookie card. He's a guy to keep an eye out on, I think. Ooh, another City Connect jersey. I like the, I like the look of that. I like the look of that uh, Rockies jersey there. That's kind of cool looking. Uh, Randall Grichuk, Colorado Rockies. If this was a picture that I'd take, I would have photoshopped a lightsaber and uh, placed the bat right there. I've done that with a couple of my other photos, but this just looks like something begging to have a lightsaber photoshopped in there on that. All right, Vinny Pasquantino, a rookie card. This is another guy that I saw down in the Appalachian League a couple years ago, so we'll be keeping an eye on how he does. Those Rockies uh, City Connect jerseys again. Jonathan Daza, outfielder. Eric Fetty with the Nationals. Jose Altuve. Ooh, I'm excited. We'll get to that in a second. But Jose Altuve with the uh, Astros. Oh, that's cool. 
oh yeah, I remember this now. The Space City for their uh, City Connect jerseys. That's that's a cool look. I like that. But this right here, this is what I'm excited for. Oh wow, Pedro Martinez. Oh nice. Oh that is cool. I have been absolutely loving. Like I absolutely loved this. Uh, I'm gonna pull this out to kind of show this a little bit better. Ever since I first saw the pictures of this card, I have absolutely loved the design of this, and I wanted to get these cards so badly. Huh, that's interesting. It looks like there's like a little bubble or something there, but that's fine. I don't really care about that. I'm not looking to get this graded or sell it. This this one is uh, this one is just for me. But uh, yeah, I loved the look of these playing cards, and you got like. It looks like a playing card back. You have the rounded corners of a playing card. So I am really excited to get this. And for Pedro Martinez, you know, oh, this is this this is way cool. I like this makes the whole box worth it for me just to get one of these cards. Alright. Wrapping up the last few cards in this pack now. We got Shohei Otane. No, Shohei Otani, sorry. Don't know what I'm thinking there. Stars of MLB card, very nice. I wonder if they have, uh, I wonder if there are two cards of his in this set. One of him is a pitcher and one of him is a batter. That would be interesting. But, uh, yeah, Shohei Otani, very nice. All right, we got, uh, oh, nice, Tough as Nails, Na Josh Naylor. Unmatched Energy in Cleveland, very nice card here. I really love the wordplay on the... Like, this is the kind of stuff that I would come up with. I love this wordplay on these cards right now. Mark Canna. Probably going to get hit by quite a few more pitches this year. Kyle Hendricks. Nice shot here. Going through the motion. Love these kind of shots of the pitchers. And got a nice shot to close out this box of Ozzy Albies diving into third base. Very nice. All in all, a nice little blaster box. My first blaster box of the year for Topps 2023 Series 1. And uh, I pulled aside some of the other cards that I pulled from some of the hanger packs I've gone through this year. And so I'll go ahead and uh, pull those out and show them off now. All right, so like I said, these are some of the other cards that I pulled from. Uh, I bought, uh, I think it's like four or five hanger packs that I've uh, purchased so far this year, and those have been really kind of fun to go through. I mentioned this before with the Cedric Mullins one, 30-30 Club. I, I really like the look of this and the design that went into this card. Really love how that looks. Here's the Michael Harris, the base card. I pulled the blue uh, parallel card earlier, but Michael Harris rookie card. This one was a cool card that I like. Again, going back to the photography, I love the sidearm pitchers. And this is like a great shot showing that off, the pitching motion. You got the ball just coming off the fingertips here. I really love how this looks. You know, I, I always like to find like the unusual photos or like the really cool like you know photos that you don't really see a whole lot on these cards and here's what i was talking about i think i mentioned this before with the pedro martinez i love this how this uh set how this looks i pulled this alec manoa aces card uh from one of the hanger packs i'm looking forward to trying to collect this whole set i just love i cannot say enough how much i love the look of this uh set Luis Robert, I pulled this out just because, again, like I, I really like a lot of these City Connect jerseys, and I love the White Sox Southside uh, jersey. Might be a little bit biased as a White Sox fan, but I just really like the look of that. C.J. Abrams, Future Stars card. This is a guy that uh, uh, probably have a lot of people keeping an eye on this year who could have a really good uh, year. Jazz Chisholm. Uh, this was a guy I actually saw him, uh, like I mentioned before, with the uh, Dean Kramer out uh, when I was working uh, at the newspaper covering the Ogden Raptors. I saw him. I saw Jazz. Back then he was going by his full name, Chesrado. But uh, 
I saw him out there and got a couple pictures of him. One of them actually was used by uh, MLB.com in their uh, uh, prospect pipeline. It was his uh, uh, the image attached to his profile for uh, about a year or so, and that was a really cool experience to have that. All right, we got the one-two punch, a couple of uh, Hall of Fame pitchers here, Greg Maddox and Tom Glavin, uh, back when they were both on the Braves. You know, this is a set that, or a series set, whatever you want to call it, that, you know, doesn't really do a whole lot necessarily, but it's really cool to have a couple of Hall of Famers uh, on here. And it's a really nice look to it. And it's a really cool concept having, like, you know, your one-two pitchers. So that's, this is cool. I like this one. I got a jersey card. Wilson Contreras with the Cubs. I don't care that it's with the Cubs and I'm a White Sox fan. I'm still excited that I got a jersey card. This is really cool. It says game used memorabilia. I know that that's been something that uh, some people have been uh, voicing concerns about in uh, past years because you had the guys just uh, would put on jerseys at an event and it would just be listed as player worn and in some people's minds it's not as valuable. I still think it's just really cool to get a jersey card. And, you know, like it says down here, game used memorabilia. So that's cool to get this in the 1988 uh, uh, throwback set there. This one, I pulled this out. Another great photo. I love this shot. Robbing the home run. You got the ball right there in the glove. Going up against the wall. Love this shot. He's going to miss uh, some time to start this, this season. But, uh, you know, great card. Great shot. Emily love this. Rushman. Rookie card. This is uh, one of the guys that people are looking a lot for this year, looking to have a big year. And uh, this rookie card, maybe not this one specifically since it's a base card, but his rookie cards are going to be ones that people are going to be looking to collect this year. Pulled one of these earlier, Brett Batty or Brett Beatty. Again, I'm not, I apologize for butchering his name. Rookie card there. This was one that I pulled also. Actually, I this is the same one that I showcased earlier. You know, the Angels, I pulled it aside because I wanted to talk about that uh, not showing Los Angeles in front of the Angels as opposed to the other teams that are showing their state or city names before it. So kind of unusual. Going to look into that. Oh, that's funny. Again, I pulled this same card already, Reese Lightning. I loved that wordplay. All right, got a black border... Carlos Correa, 88 throwback here. And this one was number two to, let's see, 156 out of 299. So that's kind of cool. Me personally, these kind of parallel cards, they don't really do a whole lot for me. But uh, I know a lot of people like to collect these and uh, try and cre uh, complete the rainbow. So, you know, that's something cool. It's not necessarily for me, but... I t totally get why some people really are into uh, trying to get all these parallels. This is another uh, parallel. Got a gold border. Uh, not really sure which kind of parallel this is, but this is kind of like a cool look to Oscar Hernandez. We pulled his uh, base card earlier. And then, of course, I had pulled this one out. Mark McGuire Athletics, 88 throwback. This one's just kind of cool. You know, him and Sammy Sosa, the... And, uh, you know, that home run race, you know, this is, uh, this is a cool card to have. And I like, I, I do like having this, uh, 88 throwback set. So yeah, that's, uh, that's all that I have for now. Um, you know, like I said, this was my first video, the first time doing anything like this. Uh, but it's something that I've been wanting to kind of get into doing ever since I, uh, started getting back into collecting back here just a couple months ago. It had been a while since I'd really, uh, gotten into collecting cards but uh yeah you know i'm looking forward to trying to do some more of this kind of stuff uh i'll probably do a video at some point kind of showing off uh some of the cards i pulled with stadium club 2022 i absolutely love this set the look of these cards i really love this set and like this is one of my favorite sets since probably 2006 upper deck which was another one that i really loved that was one of the sets of my childhood but, uh, yeah, I'll probably do one kind of showing off some of the stuff that I pulled out of these uh, boxes and out of this set. Um, also, at some point in the future, I want to do uh, box breaks, have people buy in, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. And, uh, you know, my main uh, motivation behind this is trying to raise money for charity. 
and uh, still trying to work out some of these details, but uh, that's something to look forward to in the future. But, uh, you know, any feedback that you want to give me on how this video went, what I should or shouldn't do in the future, uh, you know, would absolutely appreciate any feedback. And like I said, uh, pretty much for the most part, any of the cards that were uh, shown today are available for sale or for trade if you're interested. Uh, you know, just like, I guess, leave a comment on here. Um, otherwise, uh, thanks so much for watching and we will talk to you with the next time.